Curtis fucking killed me earlier. He's phase Timmy 99. He sniped me with a bison across a fucking map. He texted me and said, Did phase Timmy 99 just snipe you with a bison? I told him he's dog shit. We're gonna Molotov ourselves. Because no. you know, this is, you know, you're over That's here. That's reverse, reverse boosting. boosting. We're not, Come on. we're not reverse Come on, boosting. Jason. We're not you don't wanna this. burn? They're gonna get me exposed. All right, fine. Wait. Thanks for all the love and compliments and stuff like that on yesterday's video. Got over like 20,000 likes. I appreciate that. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm going for Damascus and slowly losing my mind. It's pretty obvious at this point if you check any of these videos out. I am at my wit's end. Another day. Another reality check. Joe Seacott puts out another quality tweet here. I love you, by the way, Joe. I'm just, I'm adapting right now. It's, it's a transition. Someone tweeted out, remember when we were told that we would have a huge overhaul by the end of November? It's now December, and we still have yet to see this overhaul. Nice way to say fuck you at Joe Seacott. A little too far. We're not going down that road. But now Joe Seacott comes in. The crusher of dreams. The destroyer of all fantasy. He comes in with a reality check. Out of left field, says, overhaul was a fake statement to get attention. We are coming. Constantly updating the game at least once a week by adding a new picture inside of this bedroom. Sometimes twice. Season one's incoming. Also, bye. People are trying to cite Ashton's tweet about the quote big update. I think when she quoted it, the big update, people thought that was the overhaul. And I think it's safe to assume that we had all assumed incorrectly there. These guys get an insurmountable amount of hate at this point. My goodness. Like, listen, I ain't the most positive guy about this thing, but at least a lot of them are just kind of lighthearted jokes and you're just kind of watching me lose my mind. It's nothing personal. I mean, shit. I'm given, I understand people paid their $60 to play the game. They wanted to play a Call of Duty and they got, but you know, I mean, there's only so much you can do here, you know? But speaking of only so much I can do, last night I ended up uh, finishing out those challenges. Over to our barracks here. Yesterday I needed to complete uh, like four or five different challenges that were left for my rank progression. We got uh, basically until the third or tomorrow, I'm not entirely sure. It's either the second or the third where the uh, rank ends up setting. And then the new season will start on the third. So I'm not really sure if it all starts right there and then you get all of your shit. But her whole idea of their prestige system in this game, or at least that what they were going for anyway, you get the 56, go all the way up to 155. See, before you would get a new emblem whenever you were prestiging, for example. It would be right there next to your name. But on this... There's nothing displaying. Nothing is like that there. So unless the new season, once people are actually awarded this here emblem, it's like displayed in lobbies or some shit like that. I don't really understand. Also, this whole rank progression thing doesn't necessarily show that you're a, a good player, really. No offense, but I know quite a few people that aren't that great at the game that have completed this. But as you can see down there, bottom right, we got it maxed out. Every 10 completed challenges, you unlock a new season emblem. We completed all 100 of these challenges. And now we got the most decked out emblem emblem at the bottom over there, so I, I, I get I don't know if that's gonna be next to my name when the new season starts, but when I unlocked it, I... nothing really happened. It just kind of... That's it. Probably every season I'm just gonna go and complete that, but right now I'm still working on Damascus. Some people were telling me to try out, uh, what was it, realism? I'll try out some realism, fuck it. Really working on the scar. We got through the entire M13 yesterday while trying to do those challenges, by the way. It was fucking terrible. Dude, getting those scavenger packs last night was a fucking nightmare. I know it sounds like something that's not a very big deal or something that would be a challenge, but I was tilted out of my mind. It got down to the point where I needed, like, uh, just a few. Just a few, that's all. Every lobby I got into is just filled with 155. I was playing up until about 7 a.m. or so. It might have been more like 5, but I was definitely at least awake until 7 or so. Slept a couple hours, and now I'm back. But for some reason, I feel like it wasn't even a rumor. I think that these guys were genuinely uh, just thinking about actually changing things. And then after a while, they saw something in whatever it is that they were looking at as far as a scale goes. Whether the amount of people complaining, how KDs are looking, whether how certain guns perform in certain situations, or just watching a bunch of different public matches. They were probably... Probably all debating and talking to each other about this, like all good developers do. They go in there, probably have their conversations about what needs to be done, what they want to do, how they want to address this, and what direction they should go with this. And they probably had a really big meeting, or at least a big uh, talk about this to some degree, about what they should be doing with this game. Do we listen about this radar thing? Listen about this? Do we listen about that? This is our design. Do we change it up completely? Do we basically pull a World War II? Call of Duty World War II. Uh, the game became way better after that update ended up coming out for it. The big overhaul for the game. Uh, the games ended up being faster paced. They did a whole bunch of shit. I'm not going to go into that whole thing. It's a long explanation. But they made the game better. Seriously, I don't know if anybody knows this or not. But the reason that people play these maps so slow is because there's no radar. If the radar were back to normal, it wouldn't be nearly as bad.
it seriously wouldn't. The corners wouldn't be nearly as bad to deal with. The minimap would fix a lot of this game's issues. But with them sitting there thinking about it and looking at it, I think that they looked at it, decided that, hey, maybe we should, you know, change something. And then at some point, somewhere they just decided to go fuck it we are just gonna full commit to our design of whatever we wanted this game to be i'm pretty convinced that that overhaul was definitely a real thing at least it was talked about to some degree about changing this radar and mini map and all sorts of stuff like that it had to have been a conversation at least that was taken seriously to some degree i'm not gonna believe that you guys just never talked about this and this is just exactly how you pictured it all to go i don't believe that i just don't that sounds like some shit i would say whenever i can't explain why i don't have a closer for my montage or some shit i just don't believe you. I know it sounds unfair. I just don't believe you. Putting myself in your shoes, I could totally see how that is absolutely a realistic situation. So that big overhaul was supposed to basically have a fixed mini map. It was going to maybe mess around with some of the maps and stuff, get rid of some windows or some shit like that. But it just hasn't happened because the rumor was that this was going to happen by the end of November. Joe Seacott, what do you know? December 1st goes and says that this is not happening. It's just a rumor. He's probably been getting more and more tweets as the end of the month ended up coming and coming closer because of the whole, you know, people wanted this whole thing. But that's just it right there. People want this. Hey, man, maybe we're the reason that these games die, I guess, considering we're the last 10% that's usually left playing the game by the fourth month. But, you know, like I said, I'm just going to deal with it. Face fucking value. But all I'm saying is I know you're Game can be better. I know it sounds super condescending when I say it like that, but listen, I'm trying to be your friend. You might not give a fuck about my friendship. You might not even know. Shit, on World War II, I was still playing World War II regardless of the, that update, whatever it came out. And uh, after the update came out, I enjoyed it even more. So, I mean, if I enjoy this game, which I do, I absolutely do. It's not seeming like it because I'm doing the Damascus thing. Trust me. I have a short fuse because of that whole grind. Just, you know, give me, give me a break a little bit there. But you're all going to be conditioned warriors at the end of this all. Maybe that's what Joe's idea is. Maybe he wants to condition us into the most perfect fucking soldier for his realistic shooter. Honestly, I mean, if we could fuck around with skill-based matchmaking a little bit and stuff like that, I would have a lot more fun. Regardless of the radar and stuff like that, just trying to grip my fucking teeth and just get past it like I don't care. At least do something with the skill base matchmaking just a little bit a little tweak man make it a little bit more mixed a little less strict something please man because i it's not that i have a problem playing against high level players it's that i don't have the choice so i want to take matters into my own hand and you know toss a molotov at my feet usual experience on call of duty isn't just smashing timmies or dealing with sweats the entire time it's usually a mix of things you'll come across a bunch of average players and then they got like one or two great players on their team that you just kind of watch out for or they just hard carry and shit on you you know what i mean think of it being like a real bad Battle hardened soldier. Your mental is just fucking. You're just stone. You're fucking. You're as cold as goddamn steel at the end of this whole thing. At the end of the year, we're all gonna be loving sitting in that corner, staring at that one line of sight, man. I can't fucking wait. Can't wait to be all 50 fucking milligrams just staring at particles on the edge of a fucking windowsill. Man, if I really wanted that, I'd be playing Rainbow Six. Okay, Rainbow Six does that amazingly. Not kind. Not productive for me to fucking play and record this shit at the same time. It's so fucking annoying. Thank you guys for the love. Uh, I'm done.